Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial. We're going to look at um, the chapter of uh, settlement and in the first tutorial part one we're going to look at the different settlers in Ireland. Okay, And we're going to start right back at the start with the hunter-gatherers and work our way up to the settlers currently in Ireland. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, the different settlers that came into Ireland. We're going to start right back at the start. The first settlers to arrive in Ireland were the hunter-gatherers and they arrived in about 7,000 7, BC. Okay, so these hunter-gatherers uh, were the first people to arrive into Ireland and they travelled across from mainly Britain and they settled along the east and northeast coast um, of Ireland and they set up mainly in like river valleys okay, because they need to be close to the rivers. The next one was the New Stone Age and these people arrived into Ireland around 5000 BC and these brought in uh, a few new things to Ireland such as farming, they introduced farming to Ireland uh, they travelled to Ireland uh, from Britain uh, France, and France and these new Stone Age uh, people had a huge impact on the environment. They, they cleared forests to provide grazing for, for, for animals and they built places of worship and large stone graves um, such as me megalithic tombs, cairns and dolmens which can still be seen in Ireland today. Uh, the most famous dolmen is the Pornabron dolmen in, in the Burren, County Clare and the best known megalithic tomb is in Newgrange. A lot of the people from the New Stone Age settled in the Boyne Valley, so along the River Boyne. And this was because um, back, um, back then they needed, the river was, was a place where everyone set up their, their, their settlements because it was close uh, to food with fish. They got water from the river. Um, it was a communication route as they, as they, uh, for transport with boats. Um, and usually the soil near rivers was more fertile because of the alluvium when rivers would flood. Um, on the floodplains to be left at that alluvium which is really fertile and good for farming and also they could hunt uh, deer and other animals that were near the forest near the, uh, nearby. So the next one was the Vikings and they came to Ireland around uh, 800 AD and they settled along mainly along the east coast of Ireland so around areas such as Dublin, Wexford and Waterford and most of these Vikings came in boats from Scandinavian uh, territory. Just one thing to note about the Vikings, because they settled in like places like Waterford, Wexford, um, Carlingford and so on along the east coast, one word that is quite common that still exists today is the word Ford. Okay, so Waterford, Wexford and Carlingford and Stradford. Okay, they are all places where Vikings um, settled down and the word Ford comes from the Scandinavian word fjord. The next one was the Normans, and the Normans invaded Ireland, arrived to Ireland in, in like the 12th century. And the Normans introduced castles um, to Ireland, and th this was mainly because of the, for defence, uh, defence uh, purposes. And for this reason then, a lot of settlement was attracted to around the castles. And this was kind of the first time the towns started to develop, where a lot of people started to live in the same kind of area. An example of this would have been Kilkenny, Atlone and Trim. The next people to arrive into Ireland was the, was the plantations, so the planters. So the English and the British people arrived from, uh, from Britain and planted themselves in parts of Ireland. The most famous ones probably is the is Ulster plantations. And this happened in the 16th and 17th century. And these people uh, set up proper towns in Ireland and really taught about like the planning of a town okay which was something that wasn't introduced into Ireland beforehand. And the last uh, people to arrive into Ireland uh, was the landlord towns and these people were landlords as you can uh, probably, probably guess, individual landlords and they built towns on all their land uh, and all in their estates after the plantations. They built spacious well-planned towns with fine architectural buildings and an example they can find um, of a place in Ireland would be Burr. Um, from the 1840s onwards, we had a lot of uh, emigration. Emigration is when people actually emigrated, so exited out of Ireland and moved to other countries such as Britain um, or America was the other big one that people left to. 
And the reason for the emigration was because of a lot of uh, push factors such as oppression, such as the lack of, of jobs and um, unemployment, and and such and a low standard of living. So people left to 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 flee to, to places such as Britain or America to try uh, have a have a better quality and better standard of living to try get employment and to basically to get out of their their oppression and and to, and to to gain some freedom. And in recent years, since the nineteen nineties. Uh, onwards, we've had a lot of immigration into Ireland. Okay, so immigration is people come into Ireland. So we've we've seen a lot of immigration from other countries, particularly European countries, where people are being pushed out of their country and being pulled into Ireland for things such as education, for employment opportunities, for healthcare uh, opportunities, of better healthcare, um, and all around better standard of living in uh, Ireland. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial on uh, settlement and looking at the different settlers that came to Ireland uh, since the beginning of time. Um, I hope you, you understand the different um, people that arrived to Ireland at different stages. You need to know when they arrived and basically like, what, what did they actually do? What did they bring to Ireland? Um, so hopefully with this tutorial, it's uh, give, giving you what you need to know like, re re in, in like a really like simplistic and really, really short kind of version. If you liked the video, can you leave me some feedback in the comments on the YouTube? And please, guys, can, you, can I ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel? Thank you.